It has weakened, but it is not over yet. News Nation correspondent Janelle Fort is live for us in Tupelo, Mississippi tonight, where there is a state of emergency in effect right now. Janelle, what are you seeing? Well, morning. we've been seeing rainfall for about the past four or five hours. This area is under a flash flood watch as well as a wind advisory. And if you look out here on the road, uh, just the way the wind is blowing gives you an idea of the gusts that we're seeing out here. Fortunately, not too much uh, rain accumulation on the ground. So we haven't seen any flooding in the Tupelo area thus far, but the rain is expected to continue falling through this area uh, throughout the overnight hours as the storm makes its way further northeast and into the Tennessee Valley. One of the things we are seeing is businesses here have prepared for this. This particular business has gone ahead and put down uh, these sandbags just in case there is some flooding. Again, like I said, that's not what we're seeing right now. Uh, the Mississippi's mayor, or governor, excuse me, uh, had a press conference a little earlier, and he said that largely Mississippi has dodged the bullet in this storm. So we'll just have to see what happens as it works its way even more inland and it continues on its path up the northeast. Marnie. All right, a little rain and a little wind tonight, but watching it very closely as this tropical depression moves through. Janelle, thank you. Let's bring in Albert and find out the track of the storm. As she mentioned, flooding is a concern, yeah. but you said tornadoes have also spawned out of this, so that's always a threat. Eight tornadoes, including one that injured a 18-wheeler in the Mobile area earlier today. And tomorrow, the tail of this system could spawn additional tornadoes in portions of Alabama and Georgia. And where Janelle is in Tupelo, Mississippi, stretching all the way into West Virginia, that's the flood threat over the next 24 hours. So this has been downgraded to a tropical depression located north of Jackson, Mississippi, moving to the north northeast. Sustained winds right now at 35 miles per hour. The heaviest rainfall right now nudged in in the northwest corner of Alabama, northeast corner of Mississippi. And all of this rain tomorrow spreads across middle Tennessee. And eventually, as we head into Wednesday, moving across places like West Virginia, Thursday, the Northeast, and by the late Thursday night, this moves on out and will finally be done with the remnants of Ida. But between now and then, we're talking about widespread three to five inches of rainfall from Mississippi stretching all the way into south central areas of Pennsylvania. South central Pennsylvania later this week could see some spots exceeding a half a foot. And although the rain is over in southeast Louisiana, Marnie, tomorrow, heat advisories in effect with heat indices in places like New Orleans as high as 103, most of southeast Louisiana out of power, but the heat and the humidity will be relentless over the next several days. We'll be keeping an eye on that for you. Wow. All right, Albert, adding insult to injury. They're not out of the woods yet. Thank you.